The massive 21,000 mAh battery of the Ugitel WP19 promises 7 days of average use and up to 94 days, which is about 2,200 hours in standby mode. The other phone we have here today is the Unihertz Tang, which has a 22,000 mAh battery that promises 150 hours of calling time and as many as 2,380 hours, which is almost 100 days of standby time, according to the manufacturer. In today's video, we're going to be focused on the battery drain battle between the two of the biggest battery phones ever made, the Unihertz Tang and the Ukitel WP19. We got both phones side by side. Both phones are 100% battery health. I've equalized the brightness and the speaker's volume in both phones at 50%, so let's see which one wins. We'll start by running YouTube videos for a few hours, and then we'll try recording 4K videos. We'll see which phone can last the longest under these demanding conditions. I'll be checking the battery level every now and then to see how much it's drained. As you know, the biggest battery drain in any phone is the screen. So if you're watching a video, your battery is going to drain quickly. The processor and the GPU are also major battery drains, so anything that puts a strain on those components will also drain the battery. You've been often asking for this particular video in the comments, so now we're finally putting these two monster battery phones to the test. By the way, the Ukitel WP19 was the first phone with a massive 21,000 mAh battery, but it disappointed some users with its short battery life. The Unihertz Tank is a newer rugged phone with even bigger 22,000 mAh battery, so we expect it to win this battle. However, the WP19 might still surprise us. As you know, there's another giant phone released not long ago, which is trying to keep up with the competitors, Doji VMAX, which is equipped with the same size battery as the Tang. So probably in our future videos, we might drain the life out of his battery too, to see which one would last longer. I was recently asked why mobile phones get hotter when their battery levels are critically low. Well, here's the answer. When a phone's battery is low, it has to work harder to keep up with the demands of the phone. This is because the battery voltage decreases as it gets closer to empty, and the phone has to draw more current to maintain the same power output. This increased current draw creates more heat, which is why phones get hotter when their batteries are low. Right, after 5 hours and 47 minutes of constant YouTube streaming, there's 87% of battery left on the W19 and 88% of battery left on the tank. Both phones were set to 50% of volume and 50% of screen brightness. Please keep in mind that the battery indicators are more accurate on newer phones like these two, which have more advanced battery management systems. However, even the most accurate battery indicators can be inaccurate at times like this, when the phones are under heavy use. Let's check the battery levels. Both batteries are at 75%. That's not bad, let's keep streaming for a bit longer and then we'll try the video capturing and see how this will impact the battery. Another hour and a half has passed and the batteries on both phones are at 72%. Guys, if I'm gonna keep streaming videos, it will take forever. Let's try something more drastic, 4K video recording. Although it records on the back camera, it still uses the full processing power and the microphone and a file management system to store the captured material. Even if it's just a black screen as the phones are lying on their back cameras. The phones are getting hot after 5 hours and 8 minutes of constant video recording and the battery levels have dropped to 41% on both phones. Let's go back to YouTube streaming. This will give the phones a chance to cool down a bit. After another 2 hours, we see some movement on the battery indicators. The Ukitel shows 35% and the Tang 36%. Let's capture some more 4K videos. This will be a good representation of mixed use. After 21 hours and 10 minutes total, the Ukidel has only 25% of battery left and the Unihertz 27%. In this time, there were 7 hours of 4K video capturing and the rest was YouTube streaming. Both phones are hot, so let's go back to streaming YouTube until both batteries die. In a real world use, the battery life of your phone will depend on a variety of factors such as how you use your phone, the setting you have enabled and the network conditions. If you're looking for a phone with a great battery life, then both of these phones are a great options. BAM! The Ukitel died after 25 hours and 29 minutes. But Unihertz, which has a 1000 mAh bigger battery, is still going strong. 
Bam! It took 25 hours and 45 minutes to completely drain the 22,000 milliamp hours battery of the Unihertz tank. Fatality. It's dead. We practically drained the life out of these two monster phones and tested what is arguably the most core fundamental phone feature for all of us, the battery. Okay guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed our video and found it pretty informative and useful. If you enjoyed our video, please give us a thumbs up and if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing to Family Pop TV.